Oh wow, it's actually been out for quite a long time. Oh my gosh. Hello. Actually, I don't. Oh, I don't know if they can hear me. This is not very good. This is already going bad. No. Because. Can you guys hear me? That's all I need to. Know. Hello. 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 I might need to change and put the headphones in. Okay, basically, I'm on FaceTime to someone right now, so they're over there. Chemistry's tomorrow. <laughs> and, oh my god, why is there so many people? There's already 160 people. Cool. Chemistry's tomorrow, and I, I want to do well. And we're just going to revise together because I don't have a video for tomorrow, so... I'm currently doing the Primrose Kit and Predictive paper. Separated science. I'm doing triple. Okay, so I'm like halfway through this paper, but basically, what I think the best thing to do before. <laughs> before the exam is to go over all the topics you don't want to be in the exam so like for me it would be hold on let me check because I don't actually know what I'm supposed to be learning um is electrolysis in paper one is electrolysis in paper one do you know Yeah, I was talking to you. Well, anyway, I don't want electrolysis to be on this paper, so I need to revise that because I am praying to God that it's not going to be on there. So let's just do some practice questions to together. Let's go. Let's do this. And can you guys ask me questions, please? Because, yeah. Okay, the question I'm on now, is it the right way around for you guys or is it not? I don't know. Sulfuric acid has a formula of H2SO4. Calculate the percentage by mass of sulfur in sulfuric acid. Huh? Okay, sorry. Um, how do you think you done, how do you think English Lit went? Um, the questions were like so easy that it got me confused because I'd revised for like some next up guilt question or regret or something like kingship and then it was just about Macbeth. I mean, what? <laughs> um, I'm doing triple science, yay. What is the structure of an atom? Can you draw it? Um, sure, why not? If I have a plain piece of paper. By the way, I'm not talking to myself. <laughs> Apparently triple science was easier than combined. Yeah, biology for some reason, like, I mean, it wasn't easy, but from what people have been saying about double, it was easier. By the way, I'm just drawing an atom right now so I can show you guys what an atom looks like for all you people that want to know what an atom looks like <laughs> this is the baddest drawing ever the baddest <laughs> okay so in the middle is the nucleus there's protons and neutrons that is also the atomic mass number I'm pretty sure if I'm wrong 
tell me I'm wrong. And then these are the shells and they have electrons on it, which are negative. And because it has eight electrons on the outer ring, that means that it's in group eight. So this is like, I don't know what atom, if you know what this is, well done, you're passing. And okay, let me go back to my questions. You guys are all distracting me. Sulfuric so acid has a formula of H2SO4. Calculate the percentage by mass of sulfur in sulfuric acid. What? I feel like I need a periodic table. What grade are you predicted in science? Um, I don't actually know. Maybe like sixes, but I want sevens. How do atoms become elements and can you draw it? Um, I just drew it. When's your next exam? Tomorrow. And it's chemistry. Okay. Mm, like, so I'll be saying hi about 100 times. Um, okay. I got dinner. I'm excited. We have chemistry paper one tomorrow, yes. Are you year 11? No, I'm just, you know, revising for my exams. No, I didn't hear what you said. <laughs> no, because that's pepper. So I need to open my window. It's going to... This is chips, everyone. Ha! Bone food. Bone food. Who are you? Who are you on FaceTime to? Uh, just, you know, a friend. Okay. <laughs> I'm still on the same question, someone help me. Sulfuric acid has a formula of H2SO4. Calculate the percentage by mass of sulfur in sulfuric acid. Do you know what? You guys are taking so long to answer this question, I think I already know. Okay. H2SO4, so that's hydrogen, sulfur, and oxygen. Hydrogen is one, and there's H2, so one times two. Brackets add sulfur which is 32, add oxygen, which is 16, and because there's four of them, times by four. Who wants to do the maths for me because I don't have a calculator? Who else is doing their sats? God, I wish I was doing my sats. How many paragraphs did I write in English? I wrote about five for each one, but it was like a page and a half. I mean, two pages and a half for each. <gasps> oh my God. Wait, hold on. Okay, I'm back. Um, comments. Okay. 
No, it's fine. Um, yeah, I sorry, I had to mute myself for a sec. Uh, wait, what's everyone saying? Okay, basically. That is pain. That is pain. Okay. Let me just work out what I'm trying to do right now. Add 32, add 16 times 4. 98. And then so far is just 32, so 32 over 98 equals. Thirty two point seven per cent. Oh, she's a little disciple, a little disciple. Okay, any more questions? Stop procrastinating. I suck at chemistry, I don't really know what to say to that. Um Whatever subjects you find hard, revise them. Or ones that you don't want to come up, revise them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, next question. Potassium is added to sulfuric acid to make potassium sulfate. That was too many words all at once. Do you feel com confident for chemistry? Mm, not really. What's the difference between an element and a mixture? An element is an element and a mixture is a mixture of elements. <laughs> I'm not very good at that. A mixture is like compounds and elements mixed together but not chemically bonded together because you can separate them i'm eating chips Okay, potassium is added to sulfuric acid to make potassium sulfate. If 3.5 grams of potassium is used to calculate how much potassium sulfate will be produced, huh? Okay, so I think I have to do moles in this one. Moles equals mass over MR. Party. Oh yeah, do you like my Metro Bank pen? Beautiful. <laughs> I don't need it, I don't know why I've been given all this. Thanks. That's okay. Bye. Bye. Um Tell you what. Yeah, 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 later. Okay, moles, mass, mR. What am I trying to work out? I don't know what I'm trying to work out. Can you see that question? This is how I'm going to try to work it out by working out what moles, mass, mR is, but. I do not know what moles are. So if, if someone would really lovely like to comment what moles are, I would be much appreciated. Hardest subject, history. 
or Spanish. Moles and masses are mole. Moles and mass is a ratio. Hmm. Okay, well, mass of potassium is 3.5. The MR of potassium is 39. MR is just the relative mass, right? Isotopes are in it, yeah. They just have a different amount of neutrons. Okay, get the MR of each element. Okay, so this one, okay. What? Okay, this is really confusing me. Hydrogen, H2 would be 2. K2 would be 39 times 2, add 32, add 16 times 4, which equals 174. How long do you revise for uh, until I get bored? <laughs> but I don't really get bored, so until I want to go to sleep, I don't know. What set are you in? I'm in set two. My necklace is from eBay. It was like two pounds. Favorite subject? Dance. Oh well dumb. Grade nine gang, where you at? I don't think anyone is here that has a grade nine, but okay. <laughs> okay well now i'm lost can someone help me again so i've just worked out the mr of all of them and i don't know what to do do i say that this is one mole do i say it's two? Oh my god i'm so stupid 3.5 divided by 39 okay equals 0.089743. How many GCSEs have you done so far? Two. Feels like I've done about 5,500. Stats are pointless. Yes, they are, but if you're taking them, try and do well. 3.55 by 39 equals divide, oh sh divide that by 2 which equals 0.04487 how are you feeling about GCSEs um, we are so over prepared, do you know Umar? yes I do know Umar that's true Okay, oh, not true. Okay, so I times them together. I'm just gonna guess the answer is 7.8 and hope for the best. Which exams have you already done? Biology one and literature one. Oh my god, everyone keeps saying, Tati or James Charles? Um, I don't really know what's going on, so no opinion, but not James Charles, I'm guessing. Okay, next question. Yeah, sure. You're on you're on twenty percent. 
Um, 3.5 grams of potassium was used. Calculate the number of moles of potassium this represents. I'm so confused. Moles? No, just I'm just going to star that question and hope for the best. Oh, wait, what? Um, I do triple science. When did your live start? I started at seven, but I mean, I haven't really done that much. I've done like two questions. Hi guys, this is my tortoise. It's beautiful. I just started my sats. Sats are fine, like, they're literally just for the school and for you if you want to do work. Mm -hmm. About the portal. <laughs> Moles equals mass divided by MR. Okay, thanks. I just don't know what to do with that, so should I just write it? I'll just write it and hope they give me a mark for that. Use the information above. Oh no, I haven't got a, I haven't got an answer for the information above, so in the above Oh my gosh. In the above reaction, hydrogen gas is produced. Describe how you test for the presence of hydrogen gas. Squeaky pop. The potassium sulfate made in the reaction can be used as fertilizers. Calculate the atom economy for this reaction. Atom economy. Does anyone know what atom economy is? <laughs> Please help. Do you watch Riverdale? Yeah, but I'm not caught up, so. What is your predicted grade for chemistry? Um, a six or a seven? Everyone did so well in bio, grade boundaries are gonna be higher. Do you think so? I thought everyone done bad in biology. I think everyone done well in AQA lit. So, I'm not looking forward for them grade boundaries. Okay. Can someone help me? What is atom economy? Thank you very much. Oh, someone said it. Relative formula mass of desired product and MR of reactants. I don't know what that means. Desired product... I'm just going to do 174 divided by 176 and pray that that's what I have to do. And the answer is 98.8%. The hydrogen is released to the atmosphere as a waste product without making any changes to the reaction or experimental conditions suggest what can be done to improve the atom economy of this reaction. Use the hydrogen. Um, recycle. What's that thing? It's like ammonia. ammonia. I'm just going to write ammonia. Okay. Question five. Did you find the answer to the potassium question? No, but I'm just going to leave it because I don't want to answer it. I'm getting these questions from 
Primrose Kitten, well done. Um, and this is her predictor paper. They're like 99p. So if you want to just hop onto her website and get it, cool. Or just email me and I'll send it to you for 50p. Um, okay, next question. Unreactive metals are found in the ground as pure metals. Give an example of an unreactive metal that can be found as a pure metal. Silver. Or gold. Describe the state in which more reactive metals are found in the ground. Or. I'm so smart, I'm so smart. Yeah, this is my natural hair, everyone. It's really curly, I don't really know why, but. Um, what's your favorite lesson, dance? What exams have you done, biology, literature? Copper is one of the most valuable metals in our modern time. It is used in a large number of electrical comments, I think she means components, including wiring. Describe how electricity can flow through metals. Everyone answer this question as well because I need help. I think it's something like about delocalized electrons. Delocalized. You're right. Delocalized electrons are able. Okay, cool. At least I know I'm right because everyone else is saying it. Are able to. Oh my god, this person is coughing in my ear. Um, or able to carry electricity. And heat. Oh yeah, I need to say that they can move. Delocalized electrons are able to move and carry electricity and heat. Is that enough for three marks? I find that I kind of feel like I need a bit more to that. Um, delocalized electrons, should I say the sea of delocalized electrons? Or is it just delocalized electrons? I don't know. Um, what A-levels are you taking? Probably just dance and maths, not gonna lie. You need to say they move and carry the charge throughout the structure. Um, move and carry electricity and heat through the structure. Did Primrose email you the paper? Yeah, so basically you go onto her website and you download whatever you want. I think she does maths papers as well. I'm pretty sure she does. And then after that, you just... Um, yeah. What are you predicted in maths? An eight or a nine? Yay! Only thing I'm going to pass. Johnny, I completely agree with you. I need someone to explain electrolysis to me. So if anyone is willing to help me pass electrolysis, please comment. Thank you very much. No. Okay, electrolysis might be easy for you, but it's not easy for everyone. God. For the first question where you had to balance the equation, you have to do, okay, okay, okay. Electrolysis is my dad. Oh, okay. <laughs> when an electrolysis comes up, just skip is the best advice. Yeah, that is probably the best advice. Okay. Um, 
when bonding when bonding with non-metals what type of bond is formed um no that's when there's two metals someone help me is it ionic or what's your one covalent covalent No, I want to see. Okay, wait. So if there's a non-metal and a non-metal, do that make an ionic bond? And then if there's a non-metal and a metal, covalent, and a metal and a metal is metallic? Hoping that's right. because I don't know if it's right. <laughs> no. Oh, covalent is non. Okay, I just got that wrong, guys. Don't listen to me. Metal and a non-metal is ionic. Okay. later okay yeah okay what type of iron is formed by the metal huh positive let's just hope it's positive covalent i need to stop this guy from commenting because i keep reading them out loud <laughs> No, no. Okay, cool. I got it right. Everyone's saying positive. Mm, later. Metal. Metals are rarely used. What? Metals are rarely used as just a pure metal. They're often used as alloys. Yes, I know metals are alloys. And they're so sweet. Um. Describe the difference between the structures of pure metals and alloys and use this to explain why alloys are more than pure metals. Okay, so the difference is I'm going to do metals are have layers <laughs> so they slide over each other. And then I'll compare that to alloys. I think someone just said it. Yeah. Alloys are a, I think they're a mixture, are a mixture of, oh, I don't know if that's right. A mixture of metals. And therefore, have a distorted shape and are harder than pure metals. I knew you were going to say that. Okay. I did, I did, I did, I did. Okay. Mums. Okay. Um... Harder. That's not. This is a six mark question. And I've literally wrote that much. What's that going to get me? Like one mark. Okay. I need more guys. Help me. Um. Is there something about heat and conducting? Is that different? What am I predicted in English? Sixes or sevens? My Snapchat is me ying with an X on the end. Alloys can't move, huh? I don't know what that means. Oh, the question is, describe the difference between the structures of pure metals and alloys and use this to explain why alloys are more than pure metals. Just basically, what's the difference between metals and alloys?
Okay. Aloes are stronger. Okay, pure metals are just one kind of metal. Okay. I'm just gonna move on because I feel like I'm just writing the same thing about a hundred times. Mark where the transition metals are. Is that right? Is that where the transition metals are? Let's hope it is. You're on ten percent now. No, sorry, because then I have to take my headphones out. Okay. Give three common properties of transition metals. Um, shiny. Do they conduct? I'm just going to say they do and they are hard i'm just gonna write that because i don't really know uh copper turns blue iron three turns red brown iron two turns green let's hope that's all right what is meant by the term end point of a reaction when it neutralizes Are you on study leave? No, I actually don't get study leave, so it's a bit annoying. Phenophthalene is used as an indicator. If the solution of the conical flask is an acid, describe what the student would see as the experiment progressed. I don't know what colour change it is. I think it's like, I don't even know why. I'm acting as if I know. Okay. I don't care. Oh my god, since when could you do money? What? Yeah, I'm so confused. Okay, thank you so much, Cami. I'm so confused love you too i'm i'm confused now i'm really confused yeah i do thank you very much oh my god i got okay thank you cami i feel like i've seen that profile picture before so maybe i'm guessing you've dm'd me i don't really know yeah thank you very much Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh my god. Okay. Wait, how? Oh my god. What the hell? What the hell? <laughs> I don't know. Thank you so much. Like, I don't really know what's happening. I'm a bit confused. Thank you so much, Cammy. <laughs> I'm guessing this is like a good luck. 
thing. I don't really know. Thank you. God is watching. God's going to bless you. Okay. Phenophthalene in titration. What colour does it do? What colour does it change from? Someone just said, <laughs> buy AirPods with that, with that money. Yeah, I will. Don't worry. No, I'm joking. I won't. Um... <laughs> I actually can't believe people have donated money. Like, what for? For being me? Thank you so much. Okay, colourless to pink. Let's hope you're right. Wait, wait. It says that if the solution is acid, what will happen as it the experiment progresses? So does that go pink to colourless or colourless to pink? You know what? I'm just going to write colourless to pink. <clears throat> colorless is an acid okay is this higher yeah it is higher but i'm just doing like you know some random bits i'm doing a predicted paper okay suggest any alternatives to color changing indicator suggest an alternative to a color changing indicator that could be used to find the endpoint of a titration I don't know, maybe a data logger. I don't really know what a data logger is, but apparently that's a good answer to put for them kind of questions. A compass. I will write that and I will hope for the best. Tell me how to donate. I don't know how to donate money and I don't know. So, okay, we'll comment that then. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Okay, or methyl orange. Yeah, I was gonna write methyl orange, but it says an alternative to a color changing indicator, and that is a color changing indicator. Okay, 29.5 centimeters cubed of hydrochloric, whoa, hydrochloric acid. No, what? 29.5 centimeters cubed of calcium hydroxide is titrated against 1.5 moles per decimeter cubed nitric acid. It is found that 21.4 centimetres cubed of nitric acid was needed to reach the end point of this reaction. Calculate the concentration of calcium hydroxide solution. Oh my god, that is the longest question I've ever read in my life. How do you donate? I don't know. So would someone like to comment? Because I don't know. And I don't need no money, okay? Because this is random. I don't really know if the money's real or what. But yeah, a bit confused. Okay. Moles per decimeter cube. Okay. Yeah, this is a Primrose paper. It's actually really good. Actually, her Primrose, um, her biology paper one was actually really close. She guessed the predicted the required practical like you know that big required pa practical <laughs> that comes up she guessed that so let's hope that her chemistry paper is good you donate with the dollar sign by the chat box okay i do edxl i do aqa okay right let's actually do this question so 29.5 centimeters cubed of calcium hydroxide how do i write calcium hydroxide it's like what is calcium? Ca hydroxide. Is that like H two? I'm just gonna hope that it's H. Oh wow! It's Tony. Okay, giving me the answer. Thank you very much. Ca brackets OH. Yeah, I know. Um, it's a bit bad. H O two. I'm guessing I need to put that two on, so I'm just gonna add that two, and then add. I need to add nitric acid, which is this is so bad, I don't know any of this. Nitric acid, what is that? Am I supposed to know that? I feel like I'm meant to know how to do nitric acid. Can someone help me? Oh my god, people actually know this. Wait, is it HNO3 or is it NO3? This is stressing me out, I think I'm just going to stop. I'm doing higher. Okay. Okay, um 
HNO3. Guys, we're all getting different things here, so let's just do HNO3. And then it becomes, it was reacted to, da, 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 reaction to calcium hydroxide solution. I'm so confused. I don't, I, I do you know what? I'm just going to mark my work now. Okay, so let's see how we done. Let's see how we done. Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna ask random questions and then you guys can like answer them as well. Um Bunsen Burner, describe the difference between the two flames and explain how the flames can change between each other. I answer that question. Flask. Oh, this is a good question as well. Here, wait, let me cover my answer. So, when you get this, I'm pretty sure it's called a meniscus, maybe. But whenever you get the meniscus, where do you read from? Do you read from this top bit or do you read from the bottom bit? Yes, well done everyone, you read from the bottom. Round of applause to everyone. Um, which gas is released when magnesium carbonate is mixed with acid? Carbon dioxide, well done. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Uh, what is ionic bonding again? Is that a metal and a non-metal? I don't really remember. Metal and a non, okay. Um, wait, what, what was the question I was literally about to ask? Can someone help me with electrolysis, please? Someone comment it. Is your name Mi Ying? That is my nickname, I guess. Oh yeah, I know like panic, positive anode, negative is cathode and oil roof. Oxidation is gain, reduction is loss, gain. Oil, what the hell am I saying? Don't listen to me, apparently I'm getting all wrong. I got that wrong. Um, oxidation is loss, reduction is gain. There we go, got it. How do you calculate energy change for complete combustion? I'm hoping that's in paper two because I do not know what that is. You doing your exam tomorrow? Yes, I am doing my chemistry exam tomorrow. Do, 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 do. 
Can you guys ask me some questions, please? Much appreciated. Electrolysis is the process in which electrical energy from direct current DC supply breaks down of electrolytes. I really don't get that. How many atoms in a mole is something like 6 times 10 to the power of 12 times 10 or something? What's the formula of oxygen? O2? Foundation or higher? Higher. Okay. Wear goggles. Clean up spills. Don't sit down. Wash your hands. Six point oh two times ten to the power of twenty three. Wow, I was very I don't know what that means, so I'm just gonna leave that. When did you properly start revising? Um I would say like February half term was when I'd done like proper revision, but like I'd probably been like revising since the beginning of the year but I don't think I would recommend that just because you forget everything. I'm doing triple science. What is covalent bonding? Right, I'm gonna get this wrong. Co covalent bonding, I'm pretty sure, is non-metals and non-metals put together, I'm pretty sure. Oh, actually, yeah, can someone comment that? What is independent variables, independent variables, dependent control variables, and what's the other one? I don't know what the other one is, but yeah, I need to know all of them. Independent is one that you change. Independent is one that you change. Control is what you keep the same. Dependent is what you're measuring. I'm pretty sure I got that question wrong in my bio biology exam, so it's a bit annoying. Dependent is the one, okay, let me write this. Dependent, you measure. Control, you keep the same. Um, what's another one? Dependent, control, independent. What do you do with the independent variable? Oh, okay, independent, you change. What other variables are there? I don't know. Okay, Ionic. Hello? Can I have the salt? Yeah, you can take the bag. There's a bag? Um, Delocalized electron metals have layers. Yep. I'm just going to give myself like four marks for that.
Um, exam board. I'm doing AQA. Electrolysis uses oh, electrolysis uses electricity to break down the ionic. Do you know what I think? Electrolysis is. I'm just gonna have to deal with failing because I just don't understand it. Okay, copper two is blue, iron two is green, and iron three is red brown. Yes, I got them all right. Neutralization equal. How did your English go? Um, English was all right. It was, I don't know. It was, it was like too easy that I hadn't prepared. Like I prepared too much. I don't really know how to explain it. It just sounds a bit mad. Okay, let's count up all my marks and see what I got out of. I don't know what it's out of. Macbeth was on the freaking porter. Yeah, um, I do AQA, so my Macbeth question was on how violent Macbeth is. Do you do Jekyll and Hyde? Yeah, I do. 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, Oh my god, I just lost count. Four. Fractional distillation is when you separate two liquids of different boiling points. Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, three, four, five, six, seven, twenty, eight, nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, thirty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty-four, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, sixty, sixty-one, sixty-two, sixty-three, sixty-four, sixty-five, sixty-six, sixty-seven, sixty-eight, sixty-nine, sixty, sixty-one, sixty-two, sixty-three, sixty-four, sixty-five, sixty-six, sixty-seven, sixty-eight, sixty-nine, sixty, sixty-one, sixty-two, sixty-three, sixty-four, sixty-five, sixty-six, sixty-seven, sixty-eight, sixty-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy
what are alloys alloys are a mixture of metals and it's like the layers are distorted because of the different metals so it's harder than pure metals stop laughing <laughs> no okay electrolysis electrolysis means splitting up by electricity that's actually mad i did not know that can you stop laughing <laughs> <laughs> All I can hear is laughing in my ear. Okay, this is fun. I love how everyone's commenting. Poo, this is great, making me feel amazing. Oh my god, hi Joe. Um yeah. Hi Joe. Um okay, electrolysis. Electrolysis means splitting up with electricity. During electrolysis, an electric current is passed through an electrolyte. What is an electrolyte? A molten or dissolved ionic compound. Um the ions move towards the electrode where they react and the compound decomposes. I'm so confused right now. I'm so confused right now. Okay. So someone help me with electrolysis because I'm reading this and it's still not going in my head. Splitting up with electricity, okay. Now what do I do from there? I feel like I need to like look up the song. There's like an electrolysis song or something. You're reading something. Okay. Okay. Apparently a paper got leaked or something. Oh yeah, people thought that um the biology paper got leaked, but it didn't. And people also thought the English paper got leaked, but it didn't. Okay, remember the electrolyte is the solution. Which positive or negative? I'm so confused. Okay. Electrolysis of aqueous solution. Why is there so many pages on electrolysis? This is not doing it. Mm, don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Anymore. Okay. I need someone to. Oh, I like that. Exothermic is energy given out. Endothermic is energy taken in. No one knows. Okay. I'm just going to read the book and hope for the best. Okay. I don't, I just don't know what to read. Actually, I know what to do. No. Okay. Yeah, probably. This is what I've done. So this is like everything in chemistry, paper one, written onto one page. If you want it, get on my Instagram. I'll take a picture, send it to you because I'm helpful. Um, I just use Primrose Kitten's one hour video, which I kind of need to watch again. So, yeah. <sighs> Um, 
Um, my Instagram is me ying with an extra G on the end. Um, let me try and see what I've got on here. Any tips on making notes for Primrose? Uh, literally just watch our hour video and write down anything you don't know. Bet you there's at least 50 pedos here. I agree. <laughs> Um, an electrolyte is a substance that produces electricity conducting. Blah, 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 blah. I don't get it. I don't get it. Um, okay. So separation techniques, <laughs> distillation, filtration, evaporation, fractional distillation. Plum pudding method is a ball of positive charge with negative charge in it. I don't really know what the plum pudding method is. Um, yeah, I do. Um, oh my god. Um, what am I doing? Okay, moles is six times ten to the power of twenty-three. Moles is mass time over mr. Um. Limiting reactants, I don't know what that is. Concentration is amount divided by volume. Percentage yield is actual over theory. Atom economy is product over reactants. And moles is concentration time and volume. I am confused. Do I actually need to know all of that? Because I don't know that. Um, my Instagram is me ying with an extra G on the end. I know, but other people are asking. Okay, what else is there? Oh, giant ionic lattice has a high melting and boiling point and conducts when molten. Do you know what? I think with chemistry, like, you guys literally just need to revise by yourself now because, yeah. So I'm just going to go off and learn electrolysis off by heart. Pray to God that it does not come up tomorrow. And yeah, pray to God that the chemistry exam is nothing like the biology exam and doesn't talk a load of BS for the whole hour and 45 minutes. So yeah, good luck everyone if you're taking your exam. And I hope everyone does really well. I hope I do well because I do want to do well in chemistry. So yeah, good luck everyone. Oh my God, remember to like, comment and subscribe. That was the most ugliest thing I've ever done in my life. Like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in my next video. Good day and bye.